My parents told me that from age two up to age six that I always wanted a drum for Christmas. No one knew why. I certainly didn't know why, but I was fascinated by it. So when I was six at Christmas, my parents gave me a real drum and I played on it all the time. And I tried to learn by listening to the radio and listening to bands, trying to possibly duplicate a rhythm that I heard the drummer playing. And I spent hours a day doing that. That would have been 1935, right in the middle of the Depression. Uh, very little money for anything extra. I'm surprised they came up with it. They bought it at Durl Off Music. They paid a dollar and a half down and 50 cents a month for two years to pay it off. They put this calfskin on a rim, to see that rim down there. And all you do is take these off, take the head off, put the new one on and tighten it up. I don't know how they found the drum and bugle corps, but there was one in Louisville and they took me down to audition for that and I got in it. When I was 10, the Drum and Bugle Corps played the New York World's Fair. Stayed in a hotel, I thought it was fabulous. I think you have to be prepared for whatever engagements you're gonna play, but there are lucky breaks along the way, and I think particularly in the music business. I had met Ted Otten, who was the timpanist in the local orchestra and really was the principal percussionist. And he invited me to play with the orchestra a couple of times while I was in high school as an extra when they needed an extra percussionist. Ted Otten was a wonderful percussionist and uh, a wonderful person. When I was 21 in the fall of 1950, of course, he asked me to come and be a part of the percussion section for the Carnegie Hall concert. I had other places I was playing and doing things musically, but I worked that schedule in because I sure didn't want to miss it. In October, I got a draft notice that I was going in the Army. I talked to Mr. Whitney, and he set up an appointment at the draft board and uh, convinced them that the Louisville Orchestra was going to be put on the map because of participating at Carnegie Hall, and that the city of Louisville and the state of Kentucky would be the beneficiary of this. He said, we've been rehearsing, we need every player. And uh, he was able to get a deferment until we returned from New York. The concert in New York at Carnegie Hall it was a challenge to all of us to do the very best we could to work hard and reach beyond anything we had done previously. We returned around the 30th of December and uh, I went in the Army January the 2nd. community, you have all kinds of music. You have blues and rock and roll and jazz and uh, many forms of music. I think it says, we do it all here.